Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinnie Vid production. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of everything kind of video. Um, mainly because I want to thank all you guys that uh, um, have helped me, um, both financially and with support. Um, there are a few guys I want to mention out pretty quick here um, that have made a contribution or a donation to me or whatever you want to call it. Um, Manolo CSX and uh, Glenn Watts, you know him as QR Outback and Paul Kaufman um, and there's a couple of guys that didn't want me to mention their names um, also I have sold my intermodal inter stuff uh, to Ron Aces116 and uh, I will show you uh, the intermodal stuff all packed up um, uh, also, um, I have been refraining from mentioning this person's name um, because I didn't want to embarrass him or don't know what the situation is, but um, after five emails and a personal message to this person um, has not responded to me, um, his name is uh, William Mosher. Um, he owes me money for a t-shirt. Uh, I didn't want to make several trips to the post office, so I went ahead and um, sent his t-shirt out without payment. Um, and he has not contacted me yet, so um, he's probably going to get a t-shirt for free. Uh, so um, if anybody has heard from him, please ask him to get in touch with me. Uh, the situation started with him sending me a uh, money order from Canada. and. Uh, it was for $22 and when I brought it to my bank to get it cash they wanted $25 to cash it which didn't make sense to me um, because uh, to cash a $22 check for $25 didn't make any sense so I contacted him and told him I would mail the money order back to him and he told me that his wife was going to set up a PayPal account well that never happened and so right now in my situation uh, William, I do need that 22 bucks. It's not a lot to you or to anybody else, but to me, it's a great deal. Um, anyhow, um, <coughs> I'm going to uh, <coughs> take you out to training room number two and give you guys a little show about um, all the intermodal stuff and how it and, and it's packed up. And I want to show Ron that it's packed up and ready to go. Um, he has paid in full. Uh, no questions asked about how much the price was. Um, pretty much had it sold 10 minutes after I did my last video. Um, also, I'm going to go out to the uh, work area and I'm going to show you um, the kind of progress or not progress I'm having with uh, Devin's build. Um, so stay tuned and we will be right back. All right, guys, we're out here in train room number two, and this was the uh, area where my intermodal yard used to be. Um, as you can see right there, uh, two boxes with all the equipment, cars, cranes, and everything else is in these two boxes, and I intend to put these two boxes into one larger box uh, to try and make the shipment to Australia just a little bit safer. Uh, this area now is pretty much open, and I intend to use my model as license and put uh, industries there that I already have rolling stock for. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you guys know that I'm into tankers and hoppers and what better place to put over here would, would be uh, a uh, ethanol plant and I can probably build uh, my own scratch build buildings for less than you guys in HO could buy it which winds up to be between three and four hundred bucks. Um, so that's one intention for this area and I'm thinking that it'll take up half the area and then the other half I'll figure out something else to put in there. But anyhow, um, Ron, I just want you to know that it's all packed up and uh, it's ready to go. You have paid me, no questions asked. And so as soon as I find a box to put both of those boxes in, uh, I'll get this off to you. I hope you enjoy your new toys and I'm glad that it's going to a great home. Anyhow, stay tuned and we'll get back to the, the next part of this video. Uh, talk to you in a, in a few minutes. Bye. Alright guys, before we get to the next part of the uh, 
this video, I'm going to show you that uh, on these bills that are really huge, like your HO guys with these uh, really big buildings, um, and also you guys that are doing 150th scale, um, this is what I'm going to use for the foundation. Uh, it's kind of kind of like a hardboard, I guess, but it's nice and sturdy, so uh, it'll keep the building nice and secure during shipping, and also when he puts it on his layout. Second thing is, I have been a avid user of uh, Floquil paints, um, especially the aged concrete. Well, I found that if I brought a sample over to Home Depot, that they would uh, make me a sample, a whole bottle of it. Now, you know the Floquil paints are about four or five dollars for that small little one ounce bottle. Uh, this is like five times the size and only costs four bucks. I don't know if you guys can see the color there, but that's uh, the aged concrete that I had done. Also, while I was there, uh, I looked at their uh, bargain shelf and I found this another bottle here. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but the price was 50 cents. And it's kind of like a beige color, which uh, would be good for ground cover or even another structure if I want to do a structure in that color. Um, so anyhow, um, and finally, the third thing that I bought, and the reason for this you will see in the next part of the video, is I bought some quick stripe tape, and as you can see it's red, uh, and that is because um, of the next part of the video, I will show you what is going on with that. Uh, anyhow, so stand by, and we shall be right back. All right, guys, we're back out here at the uh, work area, and uh, I did, at the beginning of this week, if I can find it, uh, did go out and buy the uh, 3M supposedly uh, easy on paint on painted services and supposed to leave you a nice crisp straight line. Well, I guess they can take that and put it in the ocean and drown it because uh, this was my second attempt at doing it, these lines, and as you can see, it did not leave me a crisp line and it is definitely not safe for painted surfaces. So I have a couple of choices here. Either I sand that all down and I don't put any lines, which is not a Vinnie Vid product, Vinnie built structure, or get rid of all of these walls and start over again and that's not going to happen. So um, I'm going to give it one more attempt and if it don't work, then I'm going to use this. I'm not against this. This is a, happens to be a very good uh, uh, striping. I've used it before on, on uh, floors and stuff like that. Um, but if worse comes to worse, that's what I'm going to do. This building <coughs> should have been standing up already. Uh, and I'm kind of frustrated that it's still laying down in pieces. Um, so hopefully uh, my next attempt will get it all straightened out. And I can get this building standing up on the foundation that I showed you guys just a few minutes ago. Um, anyhow, uh, as always, you know that your comments, questions, input, and subs are always welcome. Um, for now, that's all folks. BNSF 6951 out.